CMD Boxing Reports, Ronel Higg reporting here, and I'm back at it for the boxing fanatics. So Amir Khan is back at it again. We're calling out some of the big names at welterweight. Now, I don't really see the problem with this. I mean, this is what we want, right? We want to see uh, boxers call one another out, right? However, when it's Amir Khan, people start, you know, laughing and then telling dude to go somewhere and take a nap. Now, let's say if Amir Khan was still undefeated. I guarantee you people will want to see Amir Khan in the ring against Earl Spence and Keith Thurman. In fact, these are the two fighters he's calling out. But first and foremost, Amir Khan has to get by his next opponent, Phil LoGreco, first, all right? Because really, Eddie Hearn is thinking about dropping Amir Khan from his roster of fighters if he loses against Phil LoGreco. However, Amir Khan is looking past Phil Greco and he's now talking about his next opponent after Greco. And he's uh, hoping it'll be either Earl Spence or Keith Thurman. Now, Amir Khan says that both fighters will benefit him very well. In Khan's own words, Keith Thurman's style fits my style very well. And for Earl Spence, I'll just put it to you like this. I'm 100% against Southpaws. All right, I never lost a fight or had any trouble with a Southpaw. Now, let's say he does get past Greco. Most likely, he won't get to face Thurman or Spence. However, you know, it's very possible he could end up facing Victor Ortiz. I mean, that would be a, a great fight since both, you know, both these dudes are uh, trying to make a comeback. But will Khan win? I mean, we all know that um, he's 100% undefeated against Southpaws, but it's a uh, pretty good chance that Khan could get an unfair decision, you know, against uh, Victor Ortiz. We'll see if that fight ever happens. Now, with him calling out Earl Spence, it makes people roll their eyes, you know, to the back of their heads, you know, as, as to say, oh man, this guy. But let's look at it like this. You has Mikey Garcia, Terrence Crawford, and now Amir Khan calling out Earl Spence. So there's what, two little dudes and now Weak Chen Khan that wants a piece of the boogeyman at the welterweight division. And uh, by looking at it like that, you know, that makes uh, Sean Porter, Keith Thurman, and Danny Garcia look lame as I don't know what. I mean, I understand that uh, Danny Garcia mentioned a possible fight with Earl Spence, but that was a motivation talk brought on by his uh, city's uh, football team winning the Super Bowl. You know, that's where that came from because he sure wasn't talking that talk after he KO Brandon Reels. I understand that uh, Sean Porter, corny behind, jumped up in the ring and uh, interrupted his interview. However, Garcia still had enough time to say, I want Earl Spence next. By the way, there's some bull crap going around uh, on uh, the streets of uh, Brother D. Love. Yes, I'm talking about Philly. Now, uh, the word is Earl Spence is ducking Danny Garcia after he witnessed how Garcia knocked out Brandon Rios. Um, they're saying that old Earl Spence went from uh, being the big bad wolf to now being some punk ass keyboard uh, warrior. You know, instead of him, you know, jumping in the ring and telling both Porter and Garcia to their faces that they're both lame, he decides to pull out his smartphone and, you know, jump on Twitter and boast his trash. Now, for real, that stuff right there is a bunch of BS right there. I, I, I seriously don't see Earl Spence ducking no dang on Danny Garcia. No way. You know, this right here is just hype talk. Probably brought on by uh, Angel Garcia. Who knows? And by the way, Philly, I ain't got nothing against you. Hey, I love the city of Philly a lot. So anyways, that's my take on this. CMD Boxer Reports. I'll catch you guys on the next one.